lethal impact on the common man. Thanks, Soren. We have to take a commercial break, but when we return, we'll look at how the logic gate revelations are impacting the ongoing unionization efforts at UCSD. He once introduced a bug just to see how it felt. His transactions only need one phase to commit. Google links to him to improve their pay drink. If you asked, he could tell you if computer science is really a science. He is the most interesting computer scientist in the world. I rarely commit, but when I do, I use only one phase. Stay acid, my friends. Welcome back. In our final news segment today, we're covering the unionization effort that has been a lightning rod for controversy. Originally, it was only the United Auto Workers Union that was seeking to organize TAs and GSRs, but with new revelations of kickbacks and payoffs, what seemed like a shoe-in has become much less certain. In light of this, several new unions are vying to organize the graduate student body, ranging from the Screen Writers Guild, who argue that students need to institute paper writing work stoppages, or even a research strike to get their needs met, to the National Football League Players Union, which sees themselves as a more natural fit for computer science students than the auto workers. Perhaps the most interesting candidate is Ranjit McMillan, hot off his campaign for New York governor, who is here recruiting with a message of open access to food, lower academic standards, and contractual guarantees of on-campus personal item mail delivery. Ranjit? Allow me to introduce myself. I represent the standards of too damn high party. <laughs> Grad students working two hours a day, three days a week, four months a year, the standards are too damn high. <laughs> Faculty asking students to take classes, teach classes, do classes, do research, the standards are too damn high. <laughs> My main job is to put a computer on your desk, free food in the hallway, and personal items delivered to your mailbox. This is politics as usual. Playing a silly game, it's not gonna happen. Standards are too damn high movement. The people I'm here to represent, they, they just don't like it. The standards are too damn high. They can't get their mail sent. Their packages being sent back right now as I speak. They can't take their food in the hallway. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner. <laughs> listen. Listen. Did you hear that? Right now, a tear. A tear stomach growls. Did you hear that? You gotta listen. You gotta listen like me. The standards are too damn high. That's quite a platform. I understand your message has been received quite negatively by some faculty who feel that the student standards should be raised and not lowered. How do you respond to them? As a karate expert, I will not talk about any professor up here. But our children cannot graduate. Well, anybody, think about the children. They can't pass the core, they can't pass the research exam, they take a qualifying exam. They can't defend their thesis. Once again, why? You said it, the standards are too damn high. Thank you, Mr. McMillan. However, while your position is succinct, some have argued that you're a one-issue candidate. Can you offer a position or a message on any of the other key political questions of the day, such as legalization of marijuana, or is your focus strictly on academic standards? No, 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 that's a totally different problem. That's a totally different problem. Have you seen Gary Cottrell? I'm totally against legalization, because if it passes, the faculty will be too damn high. Once again, thanks for joining us in the studio today. And now, as always, and now as always, for our closing segment, we have Kamalika Chaduri popularly known as Ms. Kelanius, who will read questions sent to her advice column, Dear Misk. D 
Dear Misk, I don't have a web page and I'm panicking. Professor Savage says that I'm destined to fail in life as a result. But I'm a theory student and all this HTML stuff is so complex. What should I do? Sincerely, panicked about pages. <laughs> Dear panicked, do not worry. Many people have trouble making web pages. Even some faculty have trouble. <laughs> Every discipline has its own way of handling the problem. Let me tell you what it is for theory how theory handles it using a formal approach. First, we have the base case. We assume some theory web page exists with the set of web pages. Next, the inductive step. If a theory web page exists, then an updated version of the theory page also exists. As a result, we can prove that the theory web page both exists and is up to date. <laughs> Next, um, dear Misk, I use Shebob, what I take food without paying, and whenever a new food shipment arrives, I leave the building so no one will ask me for help. This has always seemed consistent with the graduate student credo of self-interested pursuit of free food. However, recently, I'm beginning to doubt myself. Can you help? Sincerely, unethical from Ithaca. <laughs> Dear unethical, you should indeed be worried. The issue is not so much ethics, but of your personal safety. Recently, WikiLeaks accounts have revealed that the political climate in Shebab is highly tense. Their, dictator, their leader, the dictator for life, Michael Vrabel, is reported to be highly unstable. <laughs> in a re <laughs> See, there is the evidence. In a recent public proclamation, he declared there is presently a pile of cardboard boxes sitting on the couches in the grad lounge. Do you know what would be awesome? Having that pile disappear. When that didn't happen, do you know what he did? He personally ripped the heads of three students. <laughs> Faculty are attempting to use diplomatic means to graduate him, but that takes time. In the meantime, it is best if you help out with Shea Bob and pay for every item you consume. Dear Misk, I'm a faculty member in CSE, and every year I skip the holiday party. I figure only students go, so why should I bother? Sincerely, Tacky with tenure. <laughs> Dear Tacky, do not worry. Only the uncool faculty ever go. <laughs> Your non-attendance is a mark of distinction that is memorialized for all time. You should feel free to continue missing it and focus on important things is grooming your CV. Thank you, Kamalika. And that's all for tonight. Please join us next week as we cover recent shocking developments on So You Think You Can Hack. <laughs> and now, a few final words from our sponsor. Nigerian princes really do send him millions of dollars via email. His personality is so magnetic, he can only use flash-based storage. He can compute entirely with zeros. He uses ones for flair. His dissertation required his advisors to defend themselves. He is the most interesting computer scientist in the world. I don't always use machine learning, but when I do, I support vector machines. <laughs> Stay supervised, my friends.